So guys, we have styled the look of the nav bar and now it is time to style the interactions. What do I mean by that? I mean that the menu is supposed to drop down when the user hovers over this icon right here. And so we need now to style the elements that you cannot see so that this happens. So first of all, we're going to style the anchor tags in our drop down menu, in our drop down content actually. So we're going to go drop down content and then now we're going to add the A tag. We're going to give this a color, the text a color of black. So that's clearly it's so that the text will be visible. Visible. We're going to add some padding so that you can center everything. We're going to add a padding of 12 px and 16 px. Okay. Finally, well, not really finally. The next step is to remove the under the, the lines underneath the text, which represent, of course, the hyperlinks. The hyperlinks will still work without the lines. So we're going to use the text decoration property and we're just going to say none. Okay. And finally, this is a very important part. We need to set a display of block so that the content in that drop down content element um, basically stacks on the page. So first you will see you will see your first option, then your second option. So it's not in line, meaning that it's not stretched across the page. It is more or less um, stacked vertically on the page. So the next step is to create our hover effect, which will just be a changing of the, the background color when we hover over the anchor the, the links in our drop down content. So let us use again our class of drop, drop down content. Okay. And this time we will add to the anchor the hover selector. Okay. When, so when that action is done, the color will change and we're going to give it a background color just to change it. A background color of let's say, I'm just going to use Azure. Okay, so at least we can see some difference when we test in this. So that being done, we need to use the same principle to have the menu displayed when the user hovers. So we're going to use that same hover selector and we're going to apply it now to the drop down content. So we're going to say drop down. Okay. We're going to add the hover selector and we're going to add our drop down content. So what we're going to ask it to do is simply display the contents that we have hidden in block format. That's what we're going to do. And finally, our last interaction will involve us changing the color of the drop down button when we it is hovered okay so we're just going to again use the same drop down okay hover and this time our class is drop button 
and I'm just going to add a background color of let me just select something although of course you could use your hex code but I'm just going to select colors from here it's faster for demonstration purposes so I'm going to add this color and I'm going to save everything and we shall test it now so here we go notice that when we hover we the menu drops down and when we hover over the menu the color changes okay so essentially guys we have created our second menu we used um, the hover selector we use some fancy well simple pretty basic um, styling features and some crafty divs in order to create all of this but we still have one fundamental problem and this is this when we resize this when it becomes larger notice of course that the the earlier the previous menu shows up but the menu that we set for any size screen size under 600 pt px stays so what we need to do is use css again to just make this disappear when this when the screen size is bigger than 600 px so to do this i am just going to go outside the media query and i am going to add my class m grid because remember that is the parent class for my menu add my curly braces and I am just going to add my display property and set that to the value of none. And so this time now, when I stretch, there is only one menu. When I reduce, there is still only one menu. So here you go, guys. If you're not familiar with JavaScript, which is one of the more popular ways of creating responsive menus. What I have demonstrated is a very crafty way of creating responsive menus by just using a combination of HTML and CSS. It does take a little more work because you have to create two menus, but the point is it works and that is the important thing.